everyone welcome back and of course if you're new here welcome my name is Iani and of course this is Diane we are doing together this DIY channel if you like this content of course because I want to keep it short if you like this content click the red subscribe button and of course if you want to see more DIYs come on over to our description box there you find all the links for our YouTube channels with lots and lots of DIYs to see for today of course we are going to make two new tumbling towel blocks inspiration DIYs so if you like this get out your tumbling towel blocks get out your glue gun and join us and if you only want to watch have fun watching for this DIY we need of course our tumbling towel blocks we need uh, some uh, white chalk paint of course at least I choose it for white uh, some glue sticks some brush and of course our glue gun my glue gun if you want to know is from the Lidl or Lidl just how you call it he's only uh, 18 euros so and he's a wireless so it's a very nice one to have so that's uh, some information you also got, got from me so for now this is what we do need for our little houses we are going to start with the underpiece of our house and what we're going to do we are going to do three blocks like this on top of each other so just do the smaller side with some glue and of course I use my glue gun but you can use some wood glue it doesn't matter like this and we are going to make uh, for this uh, little house because we're going to make it in different sizes like this we are going to make seven pieces seven first of three like this and of course remove your glue immediately like this and also don't forget the size because the size you later in your house you will see it so we will do this three together and then I will do the rest a little bit faster and I think a lot of you already love see me do, do, doing things a little bit faster so so my hands go a little bit and I don't talk too much so I am already making number three and now I'm going to do the rest in a moment our six pieces of three and you saw me uh, at pulling off one of the pieces and I will show you why because I will lay it next to each other and then you see already he is so much smaller than the other blocks I hope you can see it this way maybe is this better you see already he was so much smaller so then we get a nice pro a great problem when we are going to glue this together what we're going to do we are going to glue all seven on top of each other and you can do it with some uh, glue from your glue gun but you also can do it with some uh, wood glue i will take some wood glue before i am going to wood glue it of course i checked out and i lay them just on top of each other like this uh, without the glue because i want to be sure uh, the way i want to have it if i have to turn around some pieces or maybe uh, some Whoa, something is fitting a little bit better the other way you have to go uh, work a little bit with your uh, blocks to see which parts are gluing the best on top of each other like this i think i am going for this size and of course you have to squeeze it real hard and squeeze them in so we are going to do some wood glue like this very easy i think everyone already knows how to glue these parts together of course you don't have to use a lot of glue we are going to just to build it up like this and build it up and do and like this and build it up together like this and of course this is not <laughs> not, so, not really the way to do it probably but it saves a lot of time just do it this way <laughs> it goes like this and then build it up and then we're going to get it like this and we are going to squeeze it together like this 
and keep it in place for a couple of minutes until it is uh, dried in for a little bit because wood glue is always have to dry in for a little moment and if it does come out a little bit it doesn't matter because uh, wood glue is drying up clearly so don't worry you see already our little uh, <laughs> first part of our house is drying under my uh, container of paint because it's really heavy what we're going to do right now we are going to do the roof and for the roof we are going to take first uh, four blocks and we are going to glue them together like this this way and squeeze it and press it down and we're going to do the third one like this and of course squeeze it again press it down like this and we're going to do for a number four like this and we're going to place it against each other like this this is one and now we're going for one of three and we are going to build up our roof this is already one and now we're going for the second one of our blocks and again squeeze it press it down and now you already have one of three we are going for one of two like this and of course the one loose so we have one four th four three two one and now we are going to build them of course also but again look which one is um, fitting better on top of each other maybe this way or maybe another way it doesn't matter but take a little bit of your time just to watch which part is uh, better on top of each other and also feel you see here i feel a little piece of glue sticking out and that really makes a different size of your blocks because it comes a little bit high so be take a little bit of your time and just look for uh, which is better like this and now we already you see we have already a top of our roof and of course if you want to do it especially you also can do one of the blocks uh, in the length in half and it can also be in the middle still here so you also have one in the middle so you get your roof also a little bit higher so i checked out the house and now i'm going to glue also these parts on top of each other so but i'm going to do this one of course a little bit different because or else everything will <laughs> run out of glue and that's not what we want like this and we're going to do this one if you have questions and you don't understand uh, all what i'm saying just please let me know in the comments down below what you really want to know because i would love to answer your question because i understand that sometimes um my words are not always the same words that you use in uh, English. So, but let me just know in the comments down below if you um, want to know something. So, uh, and you also can ask me anything if you, uh, at least if you want to know something else, it's also fine to, to ask me in the comments down below. So again, also for this one, we are going to let it dry for a couple of minutes. We have here our two parts of our houses and what we're going to do, we are going to glue, of course, this one on top of here. If you want to give the roof another color, then you have to, uh, it's better that you paint it first and paint this one if you want to paint both of them in different colors. But if you don't and you want everything in the same color, then of course you can glue it on top of here. Also uh, using some wood glue or maybe also the glue from your um, a glue one or maybe E6000 or what you will use like this. And I'm just keeping it a little bit in the middle like this. And I'm going to like this lay it against each other like this. And I will show you in a moment, but I let it dry also again a couple of minutes and so we can build uh, a whole village with <laughs> little houses for this little house we use a 31 block so it's the half of a pa package uh, i have here from 60 so it's not too much it's uh, the, so you can start with little houses and we are going to now for a little bigger one for our bigger house we are going to start again with uh, a block of three like we just did with the smaller house so it's very easy, everything 
right now is so easy. Everyone can do it like this. I'm going to do a couple of them again like this. This is one and this is two. And of course, if you have a house you made also from Tumblr Tile Blocks, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to see it. And it, maybe you can even uh, take a picture and email it to me. And it ha doesn't have to be for uh, a house, but you also can, whatever you made from blocks, I would love to see what you made. And then maybe I can show it on my community post. Maybe you like that. So let me know in the comments down below if you made also a couple of DIYs and do you want to make a picture out of it? Of course, you don't have to do it. It's just, of course, on free, free base. You don't have to do anything. So, but I, would look, uh, I am always so curious what um, other creators are making because at least we all are creators. If you do it for in front of a camera or you do it behind the camera, everyone is a creator on his own and always makes the most beautiful things because everyone has their own taste and um, yeah, it's taste for decor. I always say nothing is right or wrong like this and this is already number uh i think number six i will do the rest out of camera be because we are going to make 11 pieces of three and so that means in totally for this bigger house of higher house we are going to use 41 blocks <music> our 11 pieces of our wood so we stack them together and I'm going to glue them the same way like I did with the smaller houses while our block is already drying and of course wood glue is always taking a little bit longer than your uh, glue gun of course we are going to make first again our roof and for the roof i am keeping the same measurement because i like the uh, measurement because i don't want to have a too bigger uh, roof but of course if you want to go a little bit wider with your roof just do one block extra i do four for the underside but then you're going to do five and then four three two and one and i'm going for four three two and one but of course it's up to you which uh, kind of roof you want to have and that means also with this one i did three uh, rows of uh, three but uh, at least 11 rows of three blocks, but you can also do an extra block over here with uh, that you make four blo blocks. So you can choose anything you like. You can make it as big, as small, as whatever you like. That's the great thing about this kind of blocks. You can change it up any way you like. So go ahead with your fantasy and make the one you want to make and not which one I make because I don't know how your home is looking like or what your taste will be. And I say everyone's taste is unique. And this and the last one and the loose one. Now we're going to go again, place it on the side like this. And we're going to look for which is fitting the best and doesn't have gaps in between. That's what we're looking for. We don't want to have gaps. And you see, I have some glue over here. You see immediately when you have some glue uh, pulling out here, then your blocks don't stand like this and I'm going to feel also the size if I am correct and the blocks don't have any glue on it so like this and what I'm going to do again I'm going to get my wood glue and I'm going to place again some wood glue over here and it's very easy just again sometimes it looks very <laughs> very chaotic i understand i am chaotic but like this and now we're going to do the last one 
I always say bear with me because I'm always a little bit crazy, especially when, <laughs> when I'm DIYing. It's most of the time one big mess on my table also. So, but of course, the main part is <laughs> that you see what I make and I hope you enjoy it. That's, I think, the most part. So I keep it in place for a couple of minutes again, and then we're going to build this one also together. I let it dry in a couple of minutes. What I'm going to do, I'm going to look for if my roof is fitting nicely on top of here, and he does. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do again, like I did with this smaller one, do some wood glue or E6000 or uh, Gorilla glue, just what you want. And just place also the roof on top of here, just in the middle of the blocks you made like this and that also we let dry for a couple of minutes and voila you see already the houses are finished this is the bigger one and this is the smaller one we just made and of course i made one extra uh, for myself because i like three of them but you can choose anything you like but i made one extra but this other one we just uh, made what we're going to do because you see the tops like this and i think he is not really finished off as a house so i did took some couple of the uh, blocks and i did cut them in half you see this is one block but i did cut it with my jigsaw in half and you can use also a hand saw it doesn't matter what you use and I'm going to glue it on top of here so it gives at least still more a looking like a real home. So I'm going to glue this. We are going to do, of course, some. I use for this one, I use what simple uh, glue for my glue gun. And of course, glue it in the middle like this and squeeze it and press it down like this. And I think he looks a little bit nicer with the, such a half on top of here. At least it thins it is off a little bit more but of course you are free to do you don't have to do it like this and i'm going to look for if i have it in the middle like this you see also the little smart one looks a little bit nicer with that a little small one on top and i will do the last because i did this one extra but i am really happy that i did now i can make a little village out of it and again Place it on top, like here, and of course I have to squeeze it and press it down, like this. And again, now we have two smaller ones and one for in the middle, a bigger one. And we also can do, if we want to make a little church, we can do the same uh, half like this, do on the sides like here, and we can make a little church out of it. But that's an idea maybe for later, you never know. So now we're going to do decorate our little house. For my houses, normally I would do them in some furniture wax and I am really loving furniture wax. So I'm really tempted <laughs> to do the furniture wax, but I will give it another <laughs> chance and I'm going to try for some white chalk paint. So I just did some easy and very cheap chalk paint. Of course, he is covering most of the time in one layer, but you never know. But I'm not going to paint it totally. I'm just going to Get some paint, dab it off like this on a piece of kitchen towel. And then I'm going to just distressing it little pieces, not everything. Just little spaces so it gets a nice little bit of an, at least still wood is coming through. So this is my choice, but you can paint it totally, you know, whatever you want. You can go as all the way you like. So I'm just going to give it a distressed look like this. And just the size, not everything has to be painted like this. And of course, I will do all three of the houses. houses are turned out this way the big one and the smaller one and i painted them a little bit wider than my first intention was because i liked it a little bit better when he was a little bit more white but of course at your choice what i'm going to do i take a piece of a rope like this and you see this is a little bit of the he's not really a big one a little bit of the smaller one 
So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get my front of my house and I take this like this, keep a piece over and I'm going to keep it in the front and I'm going to go a couple of times totally under the house like this. But of course you can do it a little bit lower if you like that a little bit better. Uh, try not to do it as uh, neat as you can, just a little bit. Um, ah, how do you say that? Uh, at least not uh, really uh, smooth, but just a little bit rough. Uh, I don't know how to say it in English. At least you know what I mean. <laughs> like this a couple of times and then I'm going to go over here, cut off a little piece of the twine like this. Place it away and we are going to make a simple uh, bow over here because we are just going to the way you tie your shoes. But we do it on the side like this and then make a little bow and squeeze it like this. And of course make sure that the endings are coming down a little bit like this. You see here, it's very simple, but you also can do it a little bit lower if you like that also. But I'm going to cut off the ends because the tails, for me, I don't want them to have too long. And of course, my scissor is not the best. <laughs> it takes a little bit longer, like this. And I have to be sure that my tails are going the sides. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take... A little wasp pin, and this is a wasp pin for decoration, but you also can use a little bit of a bigger one. But I hope you have a one with some wood. What I'm going to do, I'm going to place in one line, I'm going to squeeze in my wasp pin like this. You see over here, we have them on the side. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little tag like this i um, bought them um, this one in an um, of course in a hobby shop if you, you call it a hobby hobby, <laughs> hobby shop with lots and lots of this kind of things and this was only if i am correct 60 cents so this little package was very cheap i'm going to take one out of it and of course this tag is for this house it's uh, is possible because this house is a little bigger but for the smaller house i take uh, cut out a little piece and then you can write on top of here what you want you can hello spring you can uh, be kind uh, you can do some little bees around here you can decorate it any way you like this is just a base so i think i'm going for the whole card for this size and maybe i Cut out a little piece, like this maybe, like this. And I'm going to cut out the, I think I leave this side also on. So I'm going to do, of course, what will I write? Uh, I have to think about it a little more. <laughs> I made up my mind, I did for welcome home and I'm going to place this on top of here so everyone can see it already i will do the second home and the third home and then you see uh, of course the end reveal and you see a quick impression how our little farmhouse houses turned out and i'm so happy with the result of course if you don't like the farmhouse style you like a little bit more of the glam style just spray paint them in the gold color or silver color so you can change them up any way you like in a moment I show it to you a little bit closer, but first I have to thank you all for being here and spending a little moment of your precious day together with Diane and me. Of course, your friendship means a lot to us, so thank you so much for that. If you are not subscribed to our channel, of course, I hope you will click the red subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. You will find all the links for our channels down below, so if you want to see more DIYs, come on over to our description box. Enough talking. I wish you all a beautiful, beautiful day. Stay safe. See you next time. Bye.